Welcome back to Morning Joe. Let's talk about Plaxico Burris. Could we, despite the indisputable coolness of his name, the New York Giants star wide receiver, taking a lot of heat these days, become something of a national joke since he shot himself in the leg at a Manhattan nightclub on Friday night. The New York Post on Sunday even called him a giant idiot. That's not very nice. So, no, carrying an unlicensed loaded gun into a club in the waist of your pants with the safety off is not the best idea anyone's ever had. Granted, especially when you're an extremely highly paid football player who might have just cost himself 25 million bucks. But this actually may not be the dumbest thing an athlete has ever done to himself or to his team. Here's a little photo album I put together of a few other self-inflicted wounds that might just make Plax feel a little bit better about himself this morning. Let's start with good old Gus Farratt. After scoring a one-yard touchdown against the Giants in a 1997 game, Redskins quarterback Gus Farratt celebrated by slamming his head into a concrete wall behind the end zone. He knocked himself silly missed the rest of the game with a sprained neck. Now that is dumb. A routine celebration also cost Arizona Cardinals kicker Bill Gramatica in 2001. The rookie was so excited about making a 42-yard field goal that he jumped in the air to celebrate. Kickers, of course, should not jump. Gramatica landed awkwardly and tore the ACL in his knee. He missed the rest of the season. Playing video games, also not really an impressive way to injure yourself. Detroit Tigers relief pitcher Joel Zamaya missed three critical games of the 2006 American League Championship Series with inflammation in his wrist and forearm. The diagnosis? Too much guitar hero. Doctors ordered Zumaya to stop playing the game and he returned to pitch for the Tigers in the World Series. But Zumaya did not invent the video game injury. Former Sacramento guard Lionel Simmons famously missed a couple of games in 1991 with a case of Nintendo thumb. Yeah, he developed tendonitis in his thumb and wrist from playing with his Nintendo Game Boy too much. Lance Armstrong, he was not. Now, if you didn't know the outcome of this next story, you'd call it the dumbest thing a professional athlete had ever done. It goes like this. June 1970, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher Doc Ellis and his teammates in San Diego playing the Padres. Doc thinks he has a day off before he pitches, so he makes a road trip to L.A. to see some friends. While he's there, drops a little purple haze acid. One of his friends is reading the paper and says, Doc says, here, you're pitching tonight. Doc says, uh-oh. So Doc catches a flight up to L.A., arrives in time for the game, very much still tripping on LSD. Says he couldn't feel the ball or see the catcher during the entire game. Must have been his secret because that day, Doc Ellis threw a no-hitter while on acid. It remains one of the most amazing feats, not only in sports, but in human history and makes shooting yourself in the thigh kind of sound like child's play. This next one will make you feel better too, Plax. At least you didn't shoot yourself the night before the Super Bowl. January 1999, Atlanta Falcons safety Eugene Robinson picked up by police in Miami in the wee hours of the night before his team plays in the Super Bowl. What was he doing? Soliciting a hooker just hours before kickoff. Unfortunately, that hooker turned out to be an undercover cop. And Denver Broncos fans did not let Robinson forget about it. The Falcons lost the game, and Robinson was burned on the game's key touchdown. Robinson was, by the way, arrested the same day he was given the Athletes in Action Award for Outstanding Character and Leadership. I kid you not. Finally, Plaxico, when all these people are calling you a fool for shooting yourself and saying you're selfish for jeopardizing the Giants' season, keep it all in perspective. At least you didn't lose all your money betting on your own team's games each and every night. Now that would be dumb and selfish. So keep your head up, Plaxico, and the safety on. Coming up next here, what, if anything, did we learn today? Thank <laughs> you.